Holy cow! Welcome to Donnie's Hangout Adventures and... What? Just a cow. You're not enjoying the smell? Neither am I. This place has been bad luck. I don't know what it is about this place. Maybe it's a Tumba. Maybe it's because Tumba's haunted. So, who knows? Remember the bat story? Remember that? When you look in the scheme of things, that might have been minor. Is that sad that that could have been a minor story compared to what we're dealing with now? Yeah, that's sort of sad when you... <coughs> excuse me. Sort of sad when you think about it. Well, well, a few days ago, well, first of all, back up a little bit. The former neighbors that we had living here, they moved out going on three months. So, I guess when they were moving out, they, for some reason, decided not to clean out the freezer. I don't know. So, they left the food in there to literally rot instead of giving it to a church, maybe, or throwing it out. So, they left it in there to rot. So, I smelled, so I smelled some what I thought was rotten food. So I contacted the landlord and then that didn't really get rid of the smell because somebody, I don't know if it was in the building or if it was the gas company or who it was, they ended up calling the cops and the, and the animal control. And so they came out and, oh God. This is horrific. This is even horrific to even say. They found a dead cat in the basement. That one was probably a stray. More than likely. And maybe an older cat. Older cats do do that. The other one is disturbing in and of itself. The other one was found in the apartment in the heat register covered with a black board. Considering I never saw the cat, one of the neighbors down there was a teenager, looked like a freaking Jeffrey Dahmer clone. Yeah, dorky glasses and all. No joke. I am not kidding you. He does. The, this kid looked exactly like Jeffrey Dahmer. The hair, the build, the, the glasses, the whole nine yards, this guy was creepy. He was actually a teenager, so I didn't call him a guy. He was actually a teenager, and he would look out the window and watch you. I think, I think, I think this kid's a serial killer in the making. I wouldn't be surprised to see him on the news in a, in a few years. I never saw the cat. I never saw the cat. My wife saw the cat a couple times in the window, like it wanted to... Uh, like it wanted to okay. escape. And oddly, that cat disappeared. Mm -hmm. Never seen that cat just ever thought it again. got out or something. Well, I thought maybe it had got out or something. And that cat has disappeared. Now, I'm not saying, or maybe I am, that the Jeffrey Dahmer look-alike killed the cat. But then Jeffrey Dahmer, that was one of the first things he did before he became the world's most famous serial killer, was he killed a cat, and he liked it. See, this whole thing is a little weird. In... It, it, the, 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 does the pieces add up? Sadly, yes, it does. It really does add up. And then, the smell. Oh, my God. If you've never smelled a dead animal, you have no idea. You have no idea how bad the smell can be. The smell is horrific. You see, just because they remove dead animals doesn't mean the smell magically goes away. No, it does not. Because there was two smells. Remember me saying that? The rotten food, which I told the landlord, and he got rid of that. And then you had the rotten carcasses of dead cats. So... You have two smells. And the only way 
that we're surviving right now as it is, is my wife likes to burn a lot of candles. She always has, but now it's a lot more than before. And that, uh, that somewhat helps the smell. We have the windows open up here, but we can't do nothing about downstairs. We can't do nothing about that. That place just seems creepy as it is, especially with dead cat found in there. So that's the only reason that we, and we keep the, we have windows open, I think I said that. And that's the only reason that we can somewhat handle the smell and use an air freshener sometimes helps. But the only way we can get in and out of this building totally without fainting from the smell because it's horrendous is wearing a mask. To mask the smell. Bad pun. To mask the smell. But then I decided, oh God, you know what? I hate when I research shit. Because sometimes I find out shit I wish I didn't know. I wish I would have never looked it up. Because I looked it up and depending on how long it's been there, how long they've been there, and I'm sure they've been there for a while because it smells pretty bad, it can take up to six to ten weeks for the smell to completely go away unless, and I don't see the landlord doing this, unless they hire somebody professionally to come in and just completely scrape the place and try to get rid of the smell. But that would cost probably thousands of dollars to do in and of itself. Which the landlord anyway, they've been, it's been empty for three months as it is now. So that's, they've lost a good chunk of money there. That's the thing. They make money from these rental places. But if nobody's living there, well, then they can't make any money. And trust me, there ain't nobody going to be living there through the entirety of winter. There's no way, not with that smell, unless they're really desperate for a place to stay. I don't see anybody that desperate, not even a homeless person on the street. I don't think they would be, they would be that desperate to stay in a place that really, really, really stinks to high heaven. This is unbelievable. We had a bat and now this. This is like one of the worst places to live. I'm ready to move out of here, but I can't, or we can't. We cannot move out of here. We have to stay here at least for right now, but it's really making me want to move next year. This is unbelievable, and now we have the smell, and I'm hoping, I'm going, oh my God, what's next? We had a bat and two dead cats. And we wonder what's next. We really do. This ain't good. This is not good. Yeah. At least we have a rip over our heads. With a bad smell. Luckily, really bad. Luckily with the candles we don't smell it in our place. Yeah, luckily with the candles and we don't smell it. Luckily with candles and incense and air fresheners. At least we don't smell it in our place until cold weather's coming up. This is another disturbing thing. Uh, winter will be coming up, and they'll be turning on the the heat because we don't we don't control the heat, and they'll turn that on. And because of the cat being in the register, we're concerned. Uh, we're a little concerned with that smell. Because that's still a possibility that that could happen. Because he'll probably be turning, the landlord will probably be turning on the heat probably next month. At least next month. Because that's when it's usually when the landlords turn on the heat and where it stays for the rest of the winter. We might have to try to hold them off even if it means we're cold. Good point. Might have to. I wish we controlled the heat, but we don't. Yeah. We don't. I wish we did. That is what it is. And, oh boy. Bat with a minor thing. This is actually 
How is this worse than the bat? If we had Batman on that. Yeah, we had Batman on shout that. Shout out to Batman. Yeah, shout out to Batman for getting rid of the bat. Which is still alive. I think it's yep. still alive. Pretty yep. sure it's still alive. Yep. Well, just a cow, anything you want to add. I know. The smell is awful. Hopefully it gets better. I don't want you to leave. No, I don't. I'm glad they didn't... Remember they wanted to try to come in here for some reason one time and they might have tried to hurt Miss Just a Cow. I know. No. Well, that's all folks.